Welcome to our friends. We come to you with peace in our hearts for all those on the earth plane. We come in friendship to help those of your kind who are willing to listen and be open in their minds to accept us as spirits too. We know that the biggest barrier to our words being accepted is the fear in the minds, closed minds, of the earth inhabitants. There was once a time, a long time ago in earth years, when your kind operated on six senses and everyone was happier and more peaceful as a result. At that time, your kind and our kind were part of a large family belonging to the one source. We all interacted harmoniously and we shared a common goal of living a spiritual life. As the civilizations have risen and fallen in the past, so too has the spiritual vibration fluctuated as teachers incarnated with the sole purpose of connecting your kind to the source. Currently this civilization you are in identifies with many teachers of the past and in one form or another with the being known as Christ. We raise this issue today in our talk so that you the listener can check your spiritual life against the lives of the elevated teachers that have incarnated on the earth in the past. Again, this common example of physical teachers in the past is that their spiritual sense, the sixth sense, was more pronounced. To them, the higher intelligence was who they served. Are you living a life that reflects your spiritual self? Do you see how your spiritual self becomes lost in the maze of your civilization's expectations and so-called achievements? We who have been observing you for many years have an interest in preserving your aspirations to evolve into spiritual beings. By serving you, each one that we make contact with, even through these words now, we are furthering the collective vibration of the earth and its inhabitants to a higher level. Do not think of yourself as being only one who can make little or no difference in the future of your planet. This civilization of yours is coming to a cyclic end with a new beginning about to dawn. Of course there will be fear as people and more importantly as a race you lose what you had thought was permanent. Natural forces and cataclysmic events will speed up your kind's insistence on solving problems with violence. The cyclic closure of this time will herald not only our intervention on the earth plane, but it will also mean that every one of you will see that a new way of being must exist. Our presence now and in the future 
will be welcomed by some of you and we will be able to assist and counsel you as you continue to develop your spiritual selves. Our connection with you will be much easier at that time. For you listening to these words, is it not more important to develop your spiritual bank account than your physical wealth? Are not all of your possessions, your physical structures, cumbersome and meaningless in the face of your mortality? Our world that existed a long time ago in this galaxy did not survive the destruction that was unleashed. Similarly, the earth is facing the same event and it is more than just the pollution of the natural surroundings that plays a part here. It is also the pollution of your minds and hearts that we have a great interest in changing. Many of your kind, it seems, are confused about what to worship spiritually or physically. We have learned from our experience that what is most important is who we are and what our connection is to the higher intelligence. We are true to ourselves, to our thoughts and to our actions. We have not forgotten who we serve. This does not confuse us like it does your kind. Our words surely show you that we are kind and benevolent to all creatures in the universe. We know that some of you would be aggressive towards us out of fear if we met face to face and we would accept this with humility knowing that we have called your acts of violence towards us. We also know that some of you will have a recognition and a memory of us, of love. Nothing will be by chance, for we understand the perfect laws for each and every event that comes to us. We always endeavour to uphold our connection with the higher intelligence by trusting that every circumstance is of benefit. Do you know then who you are? and who you serve? We will leave you with this question today.